Michel, allez dans la cour. S'il vous plaît, allez dans la cour. The institution of marriage, it's a, a social um, and a legal, sometimes a spiritual union between two people mm -hmm. um, that, you know, they come together, agree, intending to create a lasting bond, mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah. Um, it's gone or it's come under scrutiny in these days and some men mm -hmm. have come out to complain or just say, put out their concerns about how marriage is not worth it to them as a man. Welcome to Say Less. My name is Chris P.K. and I'm here with Ahino Van Dean. and this week as well we are talking about something very sensitive. I say very because it has been a conversation that has not been now. Mm. They've started this conversation even way before I was born mm. and meeting it now it only makes sense that we you know ask our colleagues, ask our friends, yeah. the men on the street that yeah. what do they really think about this topic which yeah. is marriage yeah. and I'm excited about this one. And we have in the studio Charlie, amazing personality. Yeah, pro promising and I don't be from Carmen and music was Charlie. And I feel I feel starstruck. Mm -hmm. I feel you know. I like, know, uh, right? I see some one one has my name, so you didn't make her feel so way. Go with me. Yeah. How far? How do you respond? Yeah, Jan. Yeah, Jan. Say, oh come on, what are you talking about? Yeah, Jan. Say, oh come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about her? If you go see your father for house best side, you know what they're saying. He's such a gentle guy. Right now, the old people they won't be gentle. They won't be gentle. They try. They try. They try. Charlie, everything cool. Everything sharp. Your week been good. Yeah, how good one. We did Ghana, so we did Ghana. Yeah, we did Ghana. That be so. That be so. Our second guest. um Highly accomplished journalist. Yes. I, I wish I actually put together like a whole yeah. profile that we you know, read and you know. I don't want to make you know they like that yeah. vibe. So yeah. He's a he's a he's a journalist, let me put it that way. Uh, Aren't you about to say he's the morning man? Well, 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 mm -hmm. well. Maybe if, if I say that someone will get it. <laughs> man like Kojo Yangsa. <laughs> Yeja. Why is gonna watch me make a drop some marriage? That'll be the pressure I want to be. Yeah, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. It's very nice to be here, Charlie. You're looking that power as always. Oh, you are very kind. But we did Ghana. How do you always manage to look like very, you know? Neat, on you know, point. straight, on point. Yeah. In the morning, yeah, very. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's not easy. I won't. I won't pretend that uh, I was born like that. Mm. I wasn't. But I like nice things. Mm. So what I've tried to do is buy as many nice things as possible, so that on any given day when I'm rushing out of the house, whatever I grab and wear will be nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool number one. That's the that's the yeah. whole strategy. Just buy nice things. That's yeah. all. <laughs> Combine how many I go fit. Thank you. Thank so, like you. I said, um, we are having a conversation on on marriage and how you know if it's worth it to mm -hmm. men um, or not. Now, traditionally, I mean, from from way before, you find out that men are usually the contributors in terms of coming to put the marriage together. Mm -hmm. So, a man will leave his house, find a woman, come together, and now they become one. But the man takes the woman away from her father's house. Mm -hmm. It's probably his own abode. Um, coming from biblical perspective, Adam was created. He had a garden mm -hmm. and then a woman came to join him. So if you, if you look at things, right, it's like a man has to have certain things, everything ready mm -hmm. before he gets into marriage. Yeah. Right? But lately we see men not wanting to bother themselves about all of this because they feel like, why am I even going through all this stress? Mm -hmm. To, to get a wife and at the end of the day, I'm not appreciated, I'm not laughed for what I do because I'm considered to be a man. That is what I have to do. Would you agree with, you know, today's men if they say things like that? Could you? Hmm. Uh, okay, I have to issue some disclaimers <laughs> before we get into this. I've been married before mm. and I will not be surprised if I get married again. Mm. Ooh. But... 
Mm. Let me sit well. So that's the disclaimer. That's the disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> but mm. if I am being practical mm-hmm. and I'm assessing things on a simple cost benefit basis, mm-hmm. okay. it is hard to see how marriage benefits the man. Especially if you are comparing it to how it benefits a woman. Yeah. It's very hard to see. I mean, you think about it. Mm. So you you made a very important point. We, men are expected to do the chasing, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You're supposed to go and look for a woman to marry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you have to spend money, yeah. you know, convincing her to marry you. Mm-hmm. So you mm-hmm. give her your time, your attention, your yeah. resources. Uh, you know, you do all these things to convince her to become your, your wife. wife. Okay. Now she's your wife. Mm. So you are different from those who are not married, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You now have an advantage, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. What is right. that advantage? You found favor in the sight of the Lord. For Christians, <laughs> uh, yeah, let, uh-huh. for Christians, you found yes. favor in the sight of the Lord. So so Paul <laughs> never found favor in the sight of the Lord. Well, Jesus never found favor in the sight of the Lord. Maybe the kind of favor that married men would have, they didn't have that. Brother. But they're, they're, they're still God's favorite. <laughs> ah, yeah. mm. Thank you. <laughs> So, so I don't think it was very polygamous. I mean, David. So <laughs> actually, I don't think <laughs> marriage is a factor for God. Mm. Mm. If He's going to give you favor, I don't think so. Mm. Okay. So what is the real? You take a single man. Yeah. Take a married man. Mm-hmm. What are the things that a married man can do and have mm. that a single man cannot do or have? Name one, and I will leave. Hey, wait, come again. <laughs> give me one thing uh-huh. that a married man uh-huh. can get uh-huh. because he's married uh-huh. that a single man cannot get uh-huh. or do or have yeah. because he's single oh, some that, welfare benefits you know get, uh-huh. well, <laughs> well, uh, there's a, I mean there's some um, institutions if you're married you get some welfare benefits you get something in, in, in Ghana married. oh yeah in Ghana yeah. Where? give me one Please, I want Give me to one benefit up. that a married man oh, gets. I, I don't want to mention institutions' names, but mm-hmm. I, I know of institutions but where you ha- if you are married, I'm mm-hmm. single. Like what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the things that the married men are enjoying, mm-hmm. I, I don't get. Even, let's say, for instance, when you want to get um, a facility, yes. like a loan facility, yes. for instance, the, the, for a single guy, there's a cap on it. Mm-hmm. And for the married man, because you are married, they assume, oh, that's a certain your burden is exactly. The only so, way you get that advantage is if you are borrowing the money with your wife. So your wife's income will be added. Otherwise, as a married man, if you are borrowing and you are married and your wife isn't working, mm. you are they assume that you have more expenses. Yeah. Mm. So you have less money to pay mm. back. So they will actually lend you less money. Mm. But if, if you are if you sense, are though. if you are married, you have a home. Mm-hmm. If you are single, you have a house. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a home. You ha- you have a home. I have a home. A oh, lovely, what, 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 what makes? A home, a home, a yeah. home makes a house, a house. Uh-huh. It's it's just about the the warmth and affection that you 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 go and meet when you finally come home to meet your wife. Bro, then, a then, you're then, a single, you don't have that. I have a 13 year old son. He's the warmest, most affectionate person in my life. Mm. When I was leaving him this morning to yeah. come here, nah, me, yeah. mm. because but, I'm happy when I'm with my son. Yeah, I don't have to be married to have a son. But you had your son through the marriage. I did. It's but one it great thing that came out of my marriage, yeah, yeah. but I didn't have to be married. Married before, to have a son. Yeah, yeah. So you could, you could, mar- like, you could give birth outside. Absolutely, there are ladies out there that want to do that. Absolutely, right now, so. mm. yeah, absolutely. So from your perspective, so, so, I mean, no, I'm waiting for somebody <laughs> to give me just one, <laughs> one advantage <laughs> that married people have mm. over saying. So if we, if we establish mm-hmm. that there is no real advantage, mm. okay. Now let's ask whether there are disadvantages. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have a, you have a <laughs> oh, of my goodness. Like now. my goodness my goodness my goodness and by the way these are the, everything we are saying mm. it's uh it's a generalization mm. yeah. there are exceptions to yeah. whatever we see i mean it'll, it'll be it'll be fun to get or it'll be good to get from your perspective you mm. know your experience mm. this is what i experienced mm. and so for me i don't think it's worth it or mm. for me i think it's worth it because mm. we Irrespective of how we all feel, there's someone out there watching mm-hmm. who will relate to what you're saying mm-hmm. and what I'm saying, even if you're on opposite yeah. ends, right? I'll tell you what I know. Mm. I don't want you to read into it that that was my experience. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I know. Mm. So typically, when you marry 
when a man gets married, he takes responsibility for another person. Okay. okay? So immediately that means that whatever it was costing to look after yourself has now doubled because mm. you're looking after two people. Two people yeah. Eventually to be three, to be yeah. four, however many kids you decide yeah. to have. Okay. Now you're not only looking after them financially, you are also supposed to cater for this person's needs, mm. all of them. Yeah. Okay. So you're responsible for her emotional needs, stability. Yeah. Mm. You are responsible for her protection. Mm. That's another big aspect of being a husband, yeah, mm. yeah. right? You are responsible for her protection. Comes when, under your covering. When the family gives her to you, mm. you are supposed to protect her because mm. they believe that when she was with them, she was safe. Yeah. Mm. You came to take her. Mm. So nobody should ever be able to attack her, in, whether physically True, or you know, verbally. Yeah. Or in, mm. That's all your responsibility now. Mm. Before you got married, it was just you. Mm-hmm. Now, you do all these things for this one. In addition, as soon as you marry her, whatever you own, she immediately becomes a, an owner yeah, of it owner as of well. It, yeah. You may have worked 10 years mm. to own it. But the minute she said, I do, mm. she also became an owner of it. You did the work. Mm. She becomes an owner. Mm. Monkey the work, but with No. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to buy them. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to say that, but, you know, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now, now, think about it this way. Mm. Women are also, they also, men have needs and mm. so do women. Yeah. The needs that women have mm. tend to be for security. Mm. Okay. Because it's a wild world out mm-hmm. there. Mm. There are dangerous people out there. Mm. So they need security, not only physically, but financial yeah. security as well. Mm. Because anything can happen. So they are looking for someone who will provide Quite them with that them. security. Yeah. Mm. Now we have a situation where if a woman gets divorced in this country, mm. the laws are in her favor. First of all, anything that was owned in the marriage, the law assumes that she owns half of it. Unless the man can prove that she should own less than half. So you have to come and show working. Mm -hmm. You have to come and show, okay, well, this house, uh, I spent this money on it. She only fetched water for the builders to Mm. drink. Mm. But I spent this amount. These are my receipts. If you can't do that, the court will give her half. But even with that, there can can be an explanation that I was taking care of your kids while I was... You, so I gave yeah, you the time is, to focus on the That is the reason that, yeah. why the court says it's half half to begin with. Mm. You now, as a man, have to come and fight for anything more than half that you want. And yeah. most men will not do that. Yeah. Most men will just let Allow, it go. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's drama. Okay. So have... there is actually an incentive for women to end marriages. There's a motivation. That's like a whole plan, five year plan. Let me just right? get married to this guy. So, you, the married man, mm-hmm. what are you getting out of this? But wouldn't the man be seen as one stingy as to not uh, man enough to keep this receipt that you are saying that we should keep? If I'm in a relationship with you and we are keeping all receipts for the things that we buy, the things that we build together, because at the end of the day, I know that you are going to take half of this. Wouldn't, them, wouldn't, wouldn't that be an awkward situation in the relationship or exactly, the marriage? Exactly, it will. It will. No man can do that. First of all, you can't be married and be thinking of divorce. You can't be thinking of what I will do when we when get I'm divorced. Really good, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So no man is thinking that, which is the reason why eventually when a woman says, I've had enough, mm. you will lose half. Yeah. And these days it doesn't matter. It's not like, it doesn't matter whether the woman went to cheat on you and mm. you caught her. Mm-hmm. None of that matters. It doesn't matter. You oh. and her have kids. Forget it. She might even get more than you from the divorce. Yeah. Precisely. And then yeah. you also have to keep paying mm. for the upkeep of your kids because for everybody. however long. Because yeah. the court believes that that's what was happening in the marriage anyway. Because mm. you, the man, typically you were earning more. Mm. So you were spending more on the kids. Mm-hmm. So if you are divorced, then you should keep spending more. But would that not be, again, I don't want to make it look like we are taking the blame, but mm. if we have set up the systems to run that way, when we know at the end of the day, if things like this happen, we are going to be at a disadvantage. Why are we not putting women in positions of, of power, you know, positions of privilege to get what we are also getting? And by doing so, now there's a gradual shift. If it's working like this in the marriage, then eventually, even if there's a divorce, this is how it would it would it would play out, right? So if we have this, because I mean, if you if you look across industries, except for things that it's very quote unquote feminine, mm-hmm. and you'd find less men, you know, less of men doing that, and more of women doing, all the industries are you know male dominated. Why are we not allowing the woman to get in, get all these things that we think 
you know, when that's the reason why they are coming into their marriage. Just give them the opportunity to have that without getting married. You know, we think we think it's it's, it's a man's world, but if you go deep down, you realize it's a woman's world. Mm. Because even with all your positions of power and privilege, I told you um, the big man or let's say the big CEO out there yeah. would listen to his wife's advice and mm. the deputy CEO's advice. So at the end of the day, it's the woman that's running the show. The woman who told her, "Oh, this this guy is no good for the company." Sack him. Meanwhile, the deputy CEO, oh, he's a good man, mm. but he'll still listen to the wife. Mm. So it's a woman's world. So even though um, we would want to put systems in place. These men, these big men that would actually put the systems in mm-hmm. place are mm-hmm. being run by their so own. The <laughs> at the end of the day, be the women. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I see that. Wow. See that. You know, I have a theory. I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> say, <laughs> say, 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 it's a theory, okay? <laughs> it's a theory. Let's go, let's, let's go into it. I wasn't okay. there. But mm. this is what my imagination yeah. kind of tells me may have happened. Mm. You see, it comes from the question you asked about mm-hmm. why, why you, you, you put it a certain way. You said that why don't we allow women yeah. mm-hmm. to have the positions of power yeah. that we have? Okay. You see, civilization started from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm started a certain way. It didn't all start with all the rules and technicalities yeah, and yeah, nuances yeah. that we have today. Yeah. In the beginning, it was a man and a woman, men and women. Yeah. And the stronger dominated. Yeah. That's how it all started. Yeah. Mm. So the big tall man can do what he likes. Mm-hmm. You, you've read stories about how men will go and hit a woman over the head with a stick, yeah. drag her to his cave mm-hmm. and then have sex with her and then yeah. that's how yeah. children yeah. are. So if you're not strong, you wouldn't have to go and do that. Now, it got to a point where things started getting a bit more civilized. We weren't hitting each other over the head. We were negotiating. Mm-hmm. Okay. So a woman wants to have children who are strong and big to protect her. Yeah. So she has to have them with a the big, strong guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in any village or settlement that you go to, the big, strong guy is chopping all the me. women. <laughs> and the short guy is sitting you know, in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you see where I'm going? Yeah. <laughs> so eventually, the short guy, too, he, too, he likes the thing some. Mm-hmm. He wants to chop the women some. But the taller is... Getting know, everything. Mm. So he had to be smart. Mm. How do I also get this woman? I have to give them something mm. that the tall guy can't give them. Yeah. Okay, so this woman, what they want is a protector. Mm-hmm. I can't protect them. Mm. But maybe if I can give them something that will increase their chances with the protector, because mm-hmm. they are all competing for his attention. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. If I can give them something that will put them above their competition, maybe they'll be grateful to me and they'll give me something. Mm. So then you go and look for cowries and things, make some necklace, yes, come me. and give to, oh, wear this thing. Men like it. You know, go and find something and come and shade yeah, your eyes. Yeah. Oh, huh? Or comb your... So eventually they became the traders. Mm. Put the spice in your food. It will mm. make it nice. Mm. So the short guys became traders. Mm. <laughs> and then currency came along and these guys were the ones who had been, it's the guy who controls the money, yeah. who, controls who controls the rules. Yeah. So the short guys started making rules. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So if you want to come and shop in this, my market mm-hmm. and buy this, my spices to go and get the tall guy. Oh, yeah. Then the rule is that you must have only one man. Mm. One man must have one woman. Yeah. So tall guy can't come and chop all the oh, sisters yeah, in his family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too, I want one. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I like this. You get the move. And then, of course, the, the richer you are, you were, okay, no, I can afford more of these. Mm. But, but remember, it all came from strength. Yeah. It yeah. all started with strength. The first person with power was the one with strength. Yeah. Mm. Then the, the other guy came along and found money, money. Mm-hmm. and used that to buy strength. Yeah. Mm. But it's still strength. Mm-hmm. Even today, it is strength. If men, if all the men in the world decide that we no longer want democracy, there'll mm. be no there will be no democracy. Mm-hmm. The women will never have the physical strength mm-hmm. to make men do what they want. Exactly. So they have to find other, other ways. Means, yeah. mm. And they have done it. Mm. So today, yeah, yes. Yeah. So today, men, in spite of their strength, okay. everything we are doing is for women. Yeah. Everything. Look, the top five richest women in the world. Do you know how they became rich? Divorces. Divorces. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, divorces. Yeah. So, so really, men, we are not in control of anything. Mm. Everything we do is for women. Yeah. We buy cars mm-hmm. so that we will we look good for be attractive the woman. for yeah. women. Yeah. We wear clothes so that we look good for, for the women. women. Yeah. That's the general idea mm. of it. Everything we are doing is for them. We spend money on women. Are you saying we are being trapped? Because Women will equally go, you know, fix their lashes, paint their nails, mm-hmm. do all that. Trust me, they're not doing that for men. 
it's for their fellow women. There is it's a competition between themselves. Do you know why I say that? I, I'm, I'm pretty or sure. Or maybe I'll say they are doing it for what they can get from you, not for you. So that's what I was asking if we are being trapped. <sighs> so they set, they set the trap, Charlie. You know, put it there, put some nice cheese on it. Mm-hmm. The man, the bela will come. <laughs> so how, how will get how the bela will come? You see, make I do some, you know, the lashes, you know, yeah, 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 the no front towels and stuff. Body, <laughs> is that, is, so mm-hmm. basically, that's what it is. We are being trapped. We are bela for some big ma- a cat out there or something. Is that the case? Kofi? It, it, it's not necessarily a trap. It is what it is. It's hard it's, it's it's, you know, it it to actually put a word mm. yeah, around it. Because uh, marriage in itself, as, as, as you said, and mm-hmm. as he said, it's, yeah. it's very delicate. It's yeah. something that has been in existence yeah. for, for mm-hmm. a long time. We, many, many people have tried understanding it and mm-hmm. they couldn't. Okay, not understanding marriage, understanding women first. Yeah. For a man, marriage is simple. Provide yeah. for your woman. Have to provide for your family. That's mm. all. Uh, women make marriage very complicated. Mm. So it's it's it, it's not a trap. It's not a trap. That's what I'm gonna do. It's, 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 it's not, not a trap. trap. Yeah, it's not a trap. Okay. It's it's more like something you know, I believe men get into marriage. I love this woman. I want to spend the rest of my life with, with this her. woman. Yeah. So I can provide for her. Yeah. Let's start have yeah, making babies yeah. and then He's always thinking about the future. Mm. But women get into it, most women now nowadays get into it thinking of what they would get from, from, the, from the man. Yeah, from the man. Now, um, there was there was there was um, uh, a video I watched. They went around asking men, about a thousand men, why why are you doing what you're doing? Most of the men had similar answers. Oh, to be able to provide for my family. Mm-hmm. They asked women the same number of women why are you doing what you're doing and they all had the same answer so that i wouldn't need a man wow that's it so that i wouldn't need a man so basically <laughs> even from the, the woman's <laughs> perspective, perspective she sees the man as someone so okay. to women men are mere accessories yeah that's to women we are mere accessories to them uh, okay if i get this man i can get this from him mm. and that's why when when they are done with you mm. when they get what they want from you they are done but haven't we seen this say these same women, you know, help men in terms of their career. Um, I mean, we have. As he said, there are Ghana. exceptions. There are always exceptions. Mm. There are exceptions. How and are these exceptions mm. popping up? I don't think because if you listen to some of these stories and 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 from these women, there was a certain enabling from their man mm-hmm. or their men to get to where they get where they where they are. If if for instance, um, I, I I've said this thing before, um, former German vice chancellor, right? Mm-hmm. If she, her husband or whoever she was with, didn't give her the opportunity or say that, oh Charlie, I understand this is what you want to do. You want to get to the top. I don't think I have to be your head at the top there, professionally, career wise. I'm, I, I will try and even help you with the kids with this, so you can also get there. Don't we have a role to play for them to get to the point where they can also help us rather than just you know let's take it as yeah we'll do everything we'll do the provision and they'll keep. Con- Continuously, they believe that this is who a man is to me. This is what a man will provide for me. That's the word you use, provide. Mm-hmm. That's basically what men are. We provide. We provide the environment for you, the woman, to go. We provide the environment for so you, you mean to help helping the woman. Yes, now. you need to provide the environment. If you don't provide the environment for her to help you, how is mm-hmm. she even going to help you in the first place? So you need to provide. It's 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 all about provision. For men, it is what you can provide. If you can't provide, forget it. You you are not even call the money. You're not mm. even seen as a man mm. anymore if you can't provide. Mm. He, he mentioned security, the most important security, uh, emotional stability. Emotional stability. Yeah. I mean, when, it, when, when you're even talking to a woman now, mm. yeah, jokingly, they ask, how much do you make? Mm. Some of them. When, when I mean, there are street um, quiz that they ask women, oh, how much does a man need to take you out? Some mm. women say, oh, he doesn't need to have anything. By the back of your mind, I tell you, they have a certain figure, and that figure is the security they are looking for. Mm. Yes, they are looking. Yeah, every man has having. Yeah, they are looking. Oh, mm. you, he has like fifteen billion in his account. Okay, mm. that'd and, be cool. Yeah, if I check the, the way I want to live my life, fifteen billion will be will okay, be okay for, me. for me. So if if you don't have as the video say, if you don't have thirty billion for the account, <laughs> forget Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I'm, I'm 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 lost mm. here. Because you don't want to get married. <laughs> 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 
I mean, I, I hear some dark, dark story that I... For me, like, like uh, it, it's just darkening my sense of... Uh, but, okay. It's like about marriage. Like, let me, let me, let's, let's, I'm lost. <laughs> I want to know if I, I want to do it or not. There's, like, there's, there's a good side to it. I mean, I look at... My parents are still married. Mm. I think, thanks to God. They're still married. And mm. when I look at them, I'm, I'm motivated. Mm. Okay. I I enjoy seeing them. Yeah. Um, when I when I when I go around, they are yeah. they still chat. Sometimes I I watch them like these were like sixteen years. Yeah, yeah, being like sixteen year olds now mm-hmm. in love. I I I spoke to my dad. I mean, man to man. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's it has not been easy. Mm-hmm. They've been married for over thirty years now. It, yeah. it it's it's not been easy. There's been times when he he would wake up, go to work, and feel like just staying at work. Yeah. And I'm not sure. Sh- I'm not sure he's the only man. I felt like there are millions of men out there. Mm. And getting to where they are now, it, it nothing good comes easy. Yeah. Nothing good comes easy. They 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 have tried to to make marriage look very beautiful, especially yeah. like to us, to yeah. the people around them. Mm-hmm. Some people come to that for advice. I mean, uh, they come and then he'll call me. He'll wherever you are, come. Mm. Uh, this time you are going to have a meeting yeah. you'd go and it's this marriage thing uh, some young couple and then some here and there so it, it, it eventually there's a good there is a bad mm. when i look at my parents as i said i mean it makes me feel like yeah marriage is good i mean get yeah. get a yeah. woman like my mom mm-hmm. love my dad yeah the respect and everything mm-hmm. it's i mean it's, it's so nice it's so mm-hmm. nice when you look at them it's so nice you see <laughs> The the thing is, mm. everybody does things for their benefit. Yeah. And even if I can sit here and logically yeah. <laughs> demonstrate that mm. there is no physical benefit to a man yeah. Yeah. of getting married, mm-hmm. men are still getting married. I said I might still get married. Yeah. 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 That's because even if there is no physical benefit, mm-hmm. we still want to do it mm-hmm. for women. Yeah. We still want to do it. So we are getting married for women, not for ourselves. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You see, it pleases us. Let, let, you you guys have been in relationships yeah, before. Yeah. yeah. When you are able to take care of your woman. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? I doesn't it, it feel good? I mean, it, it feels good. It feels no, good. Doesn't it feel good yeah, yeah, yeah. when you can afford it? Mm. Right? So you know that this woman is covered. Mm. Whatever mm. she wants, when yeah. she calls you, you can tell her, okay, babe. Mm. that feels good yeah so trust me even if it is costing you mm. you are getting something out of it god yeah. made us that way yeah. because if he hadn't Anka, there would be no reason for, for us to, even to marry. waste <laughs> any yeah. time yeah. on the concept of marriage mm. but he made it so that we get endorphins out mm-hmm. of certain basic things okay certain basic simple things if yeah. your woman when you hear your woman saying my husband did this Charlie. my husband did that thank mm. you to my man husband said you reach for my boy my man, <laughs> my man did my this man did my this. man did that <laughs> it feels good yeah. and if she has to go to another man mm. for money mm. it's worth anything for, yeah, personally for anything. it's worse than cheating mm. If my woman takes money from another oh, man, man. Mm, and she, mm. is, ah, so mm. that means I couldn't provide, provide for her, yes, then yeah. that guy is more of a man than I am. Mm. So in all of this, I mean, um, this this thing about prenups, right? Um, now, it, it looks like it that, okay, marriage is not really favoring the man. With your points, I'm just, we just, we just put an example. <laughs> Would you consider a prenup like an essential part of, of, of the marriage before you even start? I think we are getting there. We are get, yeah, we are getting to the point where prenups will become um, something you have to do. Even your your own dad would advise you do it before. It, it's as your father advised you to. So <laughs> <laughs> now, um, away from the scary, like you guys are scaring me so much for me, <laughs> even thinking of going into marriage now. As as a young brother of yours, yeah, what should I look out for before I? get myself involved in marriage what are the things that i should be excited about to get into marriage okay. especially coming from you that you uh, let me say that you experienced it the most and you're out of it mm. so what, what should i look forward to in a marriage i think number one you should be looking for women who see two sides of a story so it's not a woman who wakes up in the morning and is retweeting memes that say uh, <laughs> send mum just give women money oh. just mm, give them I, I, money. I'm for the culture. okay I mean, just, yeah but that is a, just one side line. of the story 
That is one side of the story. And we accept it that, look, women need security. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if a woman says, give women money, she's not saying something bad. Yeah. Yeah. But is that all she's saying? Does a woman also understand that in order for you to be in a position to give her money, she must give you peace of mind. Mm. She must give you sex. Mm. Yeah. She must give you, look, let's not downplay it. Yeah. Mm. The same way that women, uh, they, they, they understand communication yeah. and, uh, and, and money yeah. to be acts of love. That's how you show you love her. Yeah. 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 Men too, it's sex. Food, That's sex. how you show. <laughs> yes. In fact, in fact, it's, 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 it's food, sex, sex, and silence. Yeah. Mm. Those three mm. things. Yeah. Mm. Those, and when mm. I say silence, I don't mean shut your mouth. Mm. I mean giving peace. peace you, would have, you would have women <laughs> saying things like, Charlie, should, should I be the one responsible for the peace? You want peace of mind? You're asking me. I mean, can't you also provide that, that stable environment for the peace to, you know, just come out by itself? Anytime a man says, I want peace of mind, it is directed at a woman, right? You, you, you want peace of mind, you are telling another woman you want peace of mind. You can't find or create that enabling environment for the peace to exist. <laughs> Who should you ask for it? Who should give you peace? But you can also do certain things. Like because, what? See, like most what? Of the time, I, I'm, I'm I have, I have, I have, I have heard stories. I've heard stories from... I'm a life coach among other things, right? So I, <laughs> I, speak, to, <laughs> I speak to... I speak to some women and, and, and they tell me that Oh, he asked for peace of mind simply because he wanted to go and misbehave. That was the whole. If you look at the trajectory, when he asked for peace of mind, so when the thing happened, that be the peace of mind he did look for. But what does peace of mind, mind mean? mean? Maybe we're talking about yeah, different that's, things. That's, that's, because peace of mind doesn't the, mean the, leave the, me alone. The silence you mentioned. Uh-huh. That, okay, I can't be in your ears twenty four seven. The moment, the small moments of silence that you give that man, he's already activating someone else. No, no, no. That that's not, that's, then we are, yeah, no, we're talking no. about different things. Mm, yeah. What you are talking about is l- let him be, mm-hmm. leave him alone. Mm, yeah. yeah, that one there, me, that's not for me. That's not peace. That's mind. not silence. That's mm. not what I mean. Mm. Okay, mm. I am talking about look. Don't be another problem for him to solve. Okay, mm. rather solve a problem for him. Okay, he's come from work. He's okay. going to do the thing that is necessary to give you your security, your yeah, peace sure. of mind, mm. your, fin- yeah, your, your finances, your finances, everything. <laughs> he's going to do it. He's come. Mm. Yeah. Give him something. Mm. Give him something. If and it depends on what he needs. Okay. Maybe he needs an hour to watch football. Okay. Maybe he needs a foot massage. Okay. Maybe he needs you to to just sit next to him, cry, and even ask him how hey, was you your thing. Men, So it's not about simple. silence. It's mm. not about leaving him mm. alone. Mm. It's about identifying the thing he needs to recharge his battery mm. and doing that for him. Naka, if he's not going to ask you for it, who should he ask for it? Charlie, if we <laughs> want to go on and on, I mean, we'll have Charlie. So maybe we'll speak to our producers and if we can do a part, part two, two of it. Either for the season. I don't, I don't know. I mean, because it's, it's, it's a loaded <laughs> yeah. topic. I know Kojo has a lot more to say. Kofi is dropping, you know, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> like, you, 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 I mean, I'm just listening. I'm like, I'm just mm. laid back. Let, let me you just know, listen. I, I, as, as, as you said, I'm not really... Um, <laughs> Um, um, dropping a lot because mm-hmm. I have not been there. Yeah. Yeah. He has yes, been yes, there. Yes. So, you, so you, I'm you also could, learning from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, but at least yeah. the little that yeah. I've heard on the side, side yes, is that's, fine. That's, I've, I've really learned a lot from So finally, from finally, let me just ask the question. Is marriage, you know, really, is marriage worth it? From what whatever we, we've, we've said today. If I can afford the peace, fine. If you can afford the peace, because mm. you have to provide for the peace to come. Yeah. Okay. Could, uh, <laughs> That's all I could It's marriage worth it. <laughs> It'd be like my mic not the work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. <laughs> You'd be like, she, she go watch it. <laughs> um, I mean, to some extent, yeah. To some extent. Yeah, to some extent. Could you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me repeat that <laughs> it is very likely that I'll marry again. Yeah. Mm. Because men do get something out of it. Mm. What we get is the, the satisfaction and pleasure for our ego mm. that we are pleasing a woman. A woman. Okay. So if you pick the wrong person who you can't please, mm. the marriage will never be worth it for you. Mm. 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 On that note, I'm thankful I picked the right person. <laughs> and uh, I'll be announcing my <laughs> <laughs> You'll be announcing your marriage soon. Is it? Were you about to say that? Is it? You said you'll be announcing your marriage. No, 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 you will run away. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, it's it's I have enjoyed I've enjoyed this is one of the few conversations I've enjoyed. Um, yeah. um when I say few, I mean like my entire life. This, yeah. this I've really, really enjoyed this. Yeah. I'm learning a lot. The part two day before make it happen. So this brings us to the end of this episode. We'll see you 
in the next one. Allez, allez, allez dans la cour. S'il vous plaît, allez dans la cour.